Hello, everyone. Welcome back to this Tuesday's episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Nick Brody. Today, I am here to bring you the first round of roster cuts that the Chicago Bears have had after the Seattle Seahawks game. The Bears had to cut their roster down to 80 guys before 3 p.m. today. And Ryan Poles did not even get past 11 a.m. Central Time before he got rid of his first five. When Ryan Poles walked into the door of the Chicago Bears, he got 77 players from the Ryan Pace era. And now there's only 29 of those players left. Poles has been clearing house. He isn't, he's kept pretty good players. Obviously, Justin Fields, David Montgomery, uh, Cole Komet, Jalen Johnson, Eddie Jackson. The, the list goes on at Roquan Smith. The list goes on and on, but there is a time and a place and Ryan Poles is not messing around with rebuilding this roster. So before we hit on who was let go today, we'd like to thank today's sponsor, Betstamp. BetStamp is a mobile and web-based platform in the sports betting space, built for people looking to take sports betting seriously. BetStamp solves the problems serious sports bettors face on a daily basis by providing them information and tools they need to succeed, such as tracking their record, seeing the best odds across sportsbook within their state or region, and interacting with other top bettors to see how they make their moves. Download today on the Google or App Store or use your own web browser. Use referral code JSHI, that's J-A-Y-C-H-I, to get in on the action when you sign up. And make sure to follow me, Chicago Nick. Use code J-A-Y-C-H-I, that's J-Shy, and follow me, Chicago Nick, to keep up with all my bets. And also, if you guys please could, please follow me on Instagram, chicago.nick.nic, where... Uh, we're just by following. You'll automatically be entered into the next giveaway that I'm doing on the account in the next upcoming week. So stay tuned for that. But yes, cuts. They cap in the day. Five guys are no longer Chicago Bears. They are all currently being, four of them have been waived, one contract terminated. So to start with the big name out of the five is wide receiver and kick return slash punt return specialist Daz Newsome. The one that most fans know uh, from the situation, there's been a few different reactions I've seen on Twitter and Instagram and social media world in regards to this. A lot of people are happy about it. A lot of people are sad about it. A lot of people are like, I don't get why oh, there was so much hype about it, but I'm here to break down exactly a little bit more about Daz Newsome and how he had a pretty rough going. And unfortunately, his luck just did not work out in Chicago. So Newsome was drafted last year in 2021 in the sixth round out of North Carolina known for his speed, agility, and pump return, kick return skills. The reason why he was cut, inconsistency. Newsom showed a lot of flashes right out of the gate when he came to camp last year, but he was never really able to improve on the mistakes that he dealt with. A lot of those issues were dropped catches, misran routes, uh, drops on punt and kick returns, just butterfingers at the end of the day, and small little mental mistakes. But all in the end, he struggled, and that's the reason why the Chicago Bears are waving him. He could still come back to the practice squad, which he has before, but does he want to do that? He's probably hoping that he has a shot at another team, hopefully, to make their roster. Um, Newsom had a tough start to his career, though. He broke his collarbone during camp last year in 2021, making him miss most of the preseason and beginning of the regular season. He was waived, though and then brought back to the practice squad. So it could happen again this year. He got called up in week 16 and played in week 16 in week 18 last season. He only had two catches for 23 yards, but then his luck got worse when the GM that trusted him and drafted him, Ryan Pace, was fired, hurting his quote-unquote safety with the team and being on the roster again. So he was waived today, August 23rd, 2022, Newsom can be claimed by any team once he clears waivers. Wishing him nothing but the best. I think that he does have a lot of potential. He's just got a few things to work on. And I hope that he knows that, you know, he made it to the NFL. He did a fantastic job in order to get there. He still has the ability and still has the drive in order to go out and do it. Hopefully his agent can get someone signed for him too. Um, second guy that was cut today was, uh, or waived today was cornerback Bo Peak Keys was signed this past offseason from the Indianapolis Colts, and he was drafted in 2020 within the seventh round out of Tulane. 
He was mainly a special teams player, got a few plays in there on the defensive side of the ball for Kansas City, the team that drafted him, then went to Indy last year under Matt Eberflus's defense, and then came to Chicago. He only has eight career tackles. He really doesn't – he's more of a special teams guy. Like, again, you can never have too many special teams guys, but his time in Chicago has come to an end as of right now. Again, can be picked up by the practice squad. Just a full disclaimer, anyone that was waived can be picked up again, put on the practice squad. So best of luck to Bo, Bo Peak Keys. I hope that he does land a team, and uh, thank you for your time in Chicago. Uh, this one I'm the most upset about out of the three, the third guy is – or the out of the five is the third guy I'm going to talk about. LaCale London. This one stinks because I really liked him. Guy out of Western Illinois, you know, played last year for the Chicago Bears. A big dude. And, you know, like he was, he looked bigger actually than he really is because he has this crazy afro and crazy beard. But he was a, he was a run stopper up the middle, 6'3, 307. Um, he was a good rotation with Tonga. But why I'm upset about this is because they could have been a wall, a rotating wall. But, didn't work out. Ryan Poles didn't see it like that. He saw more talent on this rot in his eyes, more talent on this roster. And Mikhail London is being waived, but you never know. It's weird how the NFL works. It's weird how the world works. He could always come back to Chicago. So best of luck to him. Fourth guy, um, final guy that was waived out of the five that was eliminated from the roster today was fullback Jake Vargas. Uh, was picked up from the Vikings this past offseason, and he has been waived by the Chicago Bears. It's not a surprise. The Bears have a lot of fullbacks on the team. They have a lot of tight ends, so they need to start cutting down at this position. He really didn't play all that much. He had a couple nice plays uh, during the preseason and in camp. But again, he was more of a depth guy. He was really liked around the clubhouse, so he was a good roster guy to have with heart. But his talent wasn't there, and the team decided to move forward from him. But good luck to him. Hopefully, he continues his NFL career elsewhere or as a coach somewhere. But best of luck to him. And then the fifth person that was let go today from the roster, but a terminated contract, not waived, was offensive tackle Julian Davenport. 6'7", 315 offensive tackle is now a free agent. Played last year in Indianapolis with, so Matt Eberflus and Alan Williams kind of saw this guy before and said, hey, maybe he could work out in Chicago. But he was likely brought here just as a depth guy, and the Bears have a ton ton of depth at the offensive line position better than they were expected in Davenport. Unfortunately with injuries, uh, he's fought injuries his entire career. It got to him in Chicago and unfortunately he will not be moving forward with the team. Excuse me. <sighs> but, um, he's, he's not a pro bowler, but he's not a bad guy. He's a good depth guy to have, but overall, I think that the bears definitely could look at him again because he is a rare size six, seven, three, fifteen. but he is a big dude overall. So best of luck to him as well. But those are the first five individuals that were let go of this from the Chicago bears. Bears are one week away from having to cut 27 more guys. So there's going to be a ton more updates coming forward for you guys. We got it all here for you. But with that, thank you very much for joining this quick episode of just another year, Chicago. My name is Nick Brody and we'll see you guys next time.